well, there you go. Final score, five three for the clan. Um, we did it at last game. We finally got the winny. We did. It's been a long time coming, um, and uh, it's glad I was here to see it. It was a good performance. Um, Storm have been getting deservedly a lot of plaudits for how much they've improved this season, and that was not a bad Storm team that we played. That was a good performance by Clan. Yeah, one of the things you notice about the Storm right off the bat is a far, far more physical team uh, than they were last year, and you know, they didn't give any of the Clan forwards any other defence any time you set at any point in the game, did they? No, I mean, from that point of view, both teams are actually very similar. We were always dishing out ourselves, so. Um, from that point of view, it was it was quite an even game, but I was just pleased with the character that we showed. To go a goal down so early on, really the heads could have gone down and it could have been the same old story for us this season. So I think to, to win in that manner um, against, as I say, a very good team, good road win, um, hopefully it's the start of better days for us. Matt Becker, I mean, we all kind of talked about him at the start of the season as one to watch. He was certainly one to watch tonight, wasn't he? <laughs> he got goal for a hat-trick, get an assist, and then he got a... 2 plus 10 2 for plus 10. Head. He's had an eventful night, but <laughs> it's like we've been saying, we've been waiting for some of the new guys to, to to start to stand out and start to stamp their authority on things, and I think Matt Beck has definitely done that tonight. And, you know, I, I mentioned Ulmer earlier on, he was playing on that line that Storm had no answer for, so a better night for Ulmer as well, so overall very encouraged. Even though we went up by 4-2 when Becker scored, Storm still managed to get a goal by. It was Tribuco, I think, scored the yeah. Storm third goal. And, you know, there was still plenty of time left. And, you know, even then you're still thinking it's not quite there yet. I have to say, though, in the last, what, minute and a half, two minutes, the clan kept the Storm pinned in their own zone. Ulmer had some fabulous board play, in particular, I can remember. Um, and they, just, they never gave the Storm a chance to pull Clement. No, Storm gave us a helped us a little bit by picking up a penalty towards the end yeah. which obviously made it a bit easier for us but again you know it was just the fact that what we saw probably for the first time this season was the fact that we played the full 60 minutes yeah. which I was very very pleased about and and that, that win was definitely deserved and two goals in a third period that's double the tally we've had in the previous <laughs> six games <laughs> Oh, be one was an empty netter right enough. No, it doesn't matter. They all count. They all have to be scored. Yep. So, yeah, um, hopefully it's start better things ahead, as we saw. So, everybody, I think, had, a, had an improvement tonight. The same guys we spoke about at the second intermission were the same guys that we talked about. Levitt, for me, was a standout. Becker goes without saying. Keith, but even talking about the likes of Roma, he got a point, he got an assist. But you can see the, the, the confidence has grown in the team. The smiles on their faces when they came off the ice for most of them told of absolute relief, didn't it? There was relief, but you know, it's 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 nights like tonight that can help turn a season around. And when you break that long losing run as we've now done, um, there's no telling what that's going to mean to the dressing room. Hopefully it's going to mean um, everything, the players can start to relax a bit. Hopefully the fans will start to, maybe not relax, but you know, recognise the fact that this, this season is still very much in its infancy and anything can happen. And uh, yeah, as I say, if we're going to have a bad run and we have it right at the start and that's now broken, I don't think any of us will be complaining too much uh, as the season goes on. And a bit of confidence tom for tomorrow night against Belfast, which again is going to be a hard game. It will be, that's uh, Challenge Cup, isn't it? So um, yeah, it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see because Belfast are obviously playing extremely well, but um, as I set up for tomorrow night, you can't do much better than this. And it'll be interesting to find out if uh, Boyd has picked up an injury. But also interesting to see if MD asks Ryan about his decision to put um, Rosal back Rose in yeah. um, considering they were playing with 60 already uh, that's going to be an interesting one he seemed to shorten the bench and play the three lines though um, although he was mixing and matching McKenzie got and David got the ice time but again we're just mixing and matching the lines and do you know whatever happened it worked tonight maybe, maybe more a bit of uh, puck luck tonight the pucks were rolling our way the right side to the post and said to the wrong side tonight I think, it, I think it's still kind of broke out fairly even I think I think they missed I, thought, I think the referee missed some calls in our favour um, we picked up some some soft penalties so I wouldn't say we got that much of a break in terms of luck um, that was that was a hard that was a hard fought win it was and it was certainly value and entertainment wasn't it for your, you, you couldn't you couldn't argue with that what's it 16 pound to come and watch that was a, was a great game of hockey fantastic game I hope of everybody hockey. enjoyed it on the webcast <laughs> Okay, well, onwards and upwards, hopefully we get another win tomorrow against Belfast.